Hey folks, this is another episode of Bench Squat and Dessert, and today we are going to taste Pop Tarts. As Introduce promised. yourself, Melinda. You're Melinda. All right, <laughs> let's just get to this. Calories, 390 for two. Remember, it's two, not just one. So math says it's just a little, I'm slightly under 200 Sorry. calories per Pop Tart, which is, you know, not horrible. Not if you can eat two Pop Tarts for three under 400 calories, Considering foods, that's not the worst one. We got chocolate and brown sugar. Again, this is a pretzel, uh, pretzel pastry, mm -hmm. we'll call it, with the same kind of filling in it. So, you know, I like pretzels, I like Pop-Tarts. Mm -hmm. So this is for those of you that like salty and sweet at the same time. Which I'm a fan I'm of. I'm a fan of too, so that's why I wanted to try it. Well, let's just go over a couple of things here. I would not eat these daily. <laughs> what? Do not eat them daily. <laughs> this would be more of a weekly food to me. Um, weekly treat. There, I have kind of categories of daily, weekly, and monthly. There's only a few that are monthly, like silk crumb pie. cake. Silk pie, mm, probably crumb yeah. cake. I probably wouldn't eat those once a week. That's a little bit rich. Mm -hmm. But something like this, especially if I only have one, I can eat yes. once a week. I mean, I've seen people fit them in their diets once a day, <laughs> right. but I don't suggest that. But you know, all that enough, let's try it out. But we must toast it first. Yes. Because that is the best way to eat I, a I don't want it not toasted. <laughs> all right, we have toasted them. They're nice and warm. Mm -hmm. We'll cut into them. I should have just cut the camera before that, but you we're gonna keep it, it rolling. Should we try chocolate first or brown sugar? Yes, let's do chocolate first. All right, there you go. Actually, let's take a look. It just looks like a jacked up toaster strudel. I was gonna this one seems thin though. Yeah, it does. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, see, falls apart. I just dropped it. I get the sweet, but not so much the soapy. Maybe it's coming. Yeah, not that salty. Mm -mm. And it has things that look like they're salty, but that's not salt. I don't think it is. It it's is. okay. It's not, yeah, it's still good. No, it's a little bit. If you, a little bit. If you, eat a little, you gotta eat closer to the middle. It's definitely not that. a major contrast between sweet and salt that some things have. Oh. Next one. Let's see if I can get this one. Hmm. Again, I get the brown sugar mm -hmm. part I love. That's good. Yeah, but it doesn't seem but it's that, not that salty. It's not, you don't get it's that combo. It's not a good contrast. Like, I'd throw salt on there. Not that I would, because I don't mm -hmm. need that. Because it probably but, has enough. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Sodium, so, 550. Yeah, that's high. For two. So. That's still high. Yeah. But, when you say pretzel, I expect like More pretzel. salt and density. It doesn't, it doesn't have the pretzel feel to mm -hmm. it. But some people don't like the salt on pretzel, so they might that's actually true. like this. So if you think of the big pretzel, Mm -hmm. Might be more like that. Without I guess I was thinking, salt? yeah, I was thinking more like hard pretzel, but not at the same time. Or the ones you get in restaurants, that's what I was thinking. But it's still good, it's tasty. Mm -hmm. It's definitely different than the normal. Yes. There's something there that makes it different. The only problem is I haven't had a Pop Tart in a long time to compare it. <laughs> I should have bought a regular Pop Tart like, so you can. I should have bought a regular brown sugar Pop Tart. Yeah. That's a fail um, on our part. <laughs> I'm it pretty tastes good. sure. That the regular pop tart is sweeter for sure. So if you like a pop tart, you're gonna like this basically. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little treat. Nice little change of pace. Mm -hmm. I'd eat it again. And I will. <laughs> well, I got two boxes. So, <laughs> well, your number. What would you give it out of ten? Um, out of ten. <sighs> maybe okay, seven. Well, maybe okay. seven. Out of out of if if normal pop tart, what would you give that? Um, compared to this. This so. one is a six, or six. This one is a seven compared to a normal pop tart for me. I'd eat this one over a regular brown sugar. I think it's about the same. I don't know if that, I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> but I like it. The I'd pop, eat both. I just don't eat pop tarts, I just can't. Remember. I know what I'm saying, <laughs> I don't remember exactly. I know the taste of the filling, I but know. I can't remember the actual pastry part yeah. at this moment to compare yeah. it to probably an eight for both. Just depends on the, what I feel like that day. Yep. Oh, well, you got my number, seven. 
I think uh, it's worth trying. I would try it though. Mm -hmm. I would definitely try I would, it. I, I mean, if you're not having struggles or have a sodium problem. Yes, yeah, so if you have a sodium problem, do not even. Don't look waste at it this. on this. That, don't that's look not a at good it. way to go. So it's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is it for this one. Mm -hmm. We'll go over some other food. We do these way too infrequently. We gotta I get know. on. We gotta get on this, man. That's because you the see the food foods. is coming out, and then it takes like months for it to actually come out. It's but anyways, <laughs> that is it for this one. Uh, we'll make another one eventually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Till next time, peace. Peace.